From the ABC7 Broadcast Center, this is ABC7 News at 11 on your side. And first at 11 tonight, new information about the bus driver caught using an iPad behind the wheel and the company in charge. An I-Team investigation revealed America Bus and Limo Service has a number of safety issues on its record. That's not all. The I-Team also found out that the company does business with a federal agency. So we wanted to know, why is the government dealing with a company that has a checkered record? Josie Sturman live at Arlington tonight with more on this. Josie, what would you find out? Well, Leon, this bus trip began right here in Boston, and tonight we have new information. It comes courtesy of the General Services Administration. They confirm they do have a contract with America Transportation Services, but based on what we found, they say they'll be investigating the allegations, looking at the company's past performance, and potentially taking action if necessary. It was a reward trip to King's Dominion, but passengers got their thrill ride on this tour bus, watching their driver checking his iPad as they rolled down the road with his GPS just above the wheel. You want to be really safe on those and, and make sure that you've got a good driver. And a reputable company, but many riders say that's not what they got with America Bus and Limo Service. Multiple Yelp reviews tell people not to use the company, and we've got even more reasons. We dug through their federal safety reports and found they've got two fatal crashes in their file and have been flagged for intervention because of safety issues and failing to randomly test drivers for drugs and alcohol. We wanted to ask the owners about that, but they weren't home. We also wanted to know why they say they're accredited by the Better Business Bureau when the agency actually gave them an F rating. Still, the feds are happy to do business. We found America Transportation Services has a five-year contract with the General Services Administration. The agency said ATS has no compliance issues and a 95% positive rating in the government database. Riders on this trip aren't ready to give the thumbs up. They tell us their driver should have kept his hands on the wheel, not on his screen. It's just a sign of the times. We repeatedly asked American Transportation Services for a comment on that video and their record. Today, when we called, the man who answered the phone told us to keep our noses out of their business. Live in Arlington, Josie Sturman, ABC 7 News. All right, thank you, Josie.